what is the one thing you stare at the most when you're in your car or truck? It is the dash. When it's grimy and dirty, you're probably not happy. So I'm gonna share with you how to do it like a pro and detail your dash out so it looks beautiful and you'll be able to keep it that way once you get it really, really clean. Now, we're going to have a few rags, towels. We've got our special soap here. All the lenses in your dash are plastic. And when you wipe it with the cloth, because it's dusty, what are you doing? You're scratching the lenses. So you don't want to do that. You've seen those uh, odometer and speedometer lenses in your gauge cluster area. They're all scratched up. And it's because people take a towel like this right here, and they just start wiping it. That doesn't work, you can't do that. Wild soap that we've got here, it is coconut milk. And we're going to just use a little bit, we don't need a lot. I will not wipe any of the lenses with this towel. I have other ways of doing that. Most all of your vents are dirty, most all of the time. What we do is use a keyboard cleaner, and this sticky, slimy stuff is great for areas like, for instance, right up here in the dash where the controls are. You just set it up there, and it sticks to it, it settles in, and it'll get all that out of the switching area up here in the switches. Okay, the next thing we're going to use is a tool that works really well for your venting and it just slides right in. Now I'm going to do just this area, we'll focus on that later, but I, do, I just want to focus on this here. This area right here where the radio and the clock is at, I've got a uh, tool that we use extensively, and it's a little miniature vacuum with a very soft brush. And all you do is come, turn it on, and you can get right in the cracks and crevices, and believe it or not, it works really, really, really well. The brush breaks up the dirt that's in there, and the little vacuum sucks it up. Where we use our vacuum and our toothpicks. Once you do this and you keep up on it, then you'll be able to use your vacuum just to keep the dust and dirt off it. You loosen up the stuff that's stuck in there and the vacuum sucks it right up. You can use your 303 if you have your 303. Use your 303 on your dash up here and that'll keep it from cracking and aging. Now I have a little bit of uh, coconut milk on this Q-tip and I just wipe it down and then wipe it out. What I like to do to clean the dash cluster is this and nobody really does this but I like to use Carnuba cleaner wax and I just put a little bit up here with a nice soft applicator pad. And what it does is the applicator pad picks up the dust and dirt. We've already wiped off a lot of it with the feather duster. We'll let that set and dry. You take your mother's carnauba, and here's your wood grain. Don't worry about going over your rear defrost button, and just put a little on. Go right over the chrome trim. And I'm telling you, when you buff that up, it will shine like nobody's business. And it's so gentle. Yet it still cleans off all the dirt and oxidization. We take our cloth up here on our gauge. And you just shine that up beautiful. And it gets all the dirt. It's protected. Now it's got a nice coat of wax over it and it will look beautiful. Shiny, 
It'll help repel the dirt and dust. And if you do this a few times, you'll end up with a nice coating of wax over it. Over time, it'll build up strength that you won't have to worry about it getting scratched. You can't have enough of these microfiber towels. Now we've done our wood grain and see what kind of shine we have on it. Take our nice dry one. Just depends on how, how well you like your dash to look. Look at that shine. Okay, now we'll use our mother's VLR on the dash. But look at the shine on that wood grain just from the carnauba. And I like to use it on the plastic and everything. Look at the shine on that, and look how beautiful it is. It'll dry in a satin shine. It won't be so glossy that it blinds you. But I like to do all around the gauges, all the plastic. All right, here's the gauge cluster. And you can see how beautiful it is. We have our slime down in here picking up, you know how hard it is to clean up underneath your steering wheel. We have that down there doing its job, and the cluster looks absolutely gorgeous.